Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It's me again. Um, I am looking forward to this project. This is really one that kind of just fell in my lap with Salima, and um, I am going crazy with them. We are making a plate cozy. Let's see if I can put this up there. And it is just so much fun, and it's fun to play with the quilting designs on the machines, which is really, really cool. Oops, I gotta put it in the center. There we go. And this fabric, this fabric is so much fun. salima has got it in all sorts of colors here. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun. And I just wanted to show you, good morning, we have Kansas City, we have Tampa, Florida. This is so cool. I love that we've, we've got friends from all over. This is a pre-cut batting. Let's see if I can get the glare away. Oh, maybe if I, I do. Right here. Oh, okay. Fabric, batting oh, good. In this color. She's got the fabric. Is this fun? It's already put together for you, so you don't have to, to sew it. There's also, look at this pretty aqua version of it. It is just really, really cool. So we discovered that, and then we discovered what to do with the bowls. And um, you could do anything. You don't have to have IQ for this. You don't have to have a Bernina or a or, um, Baby Locker Brother machine. You can quilt it any way you want to. Um, okay, Marty, I'll let them know. She's got two different sets of kits, I believe. One is if you want just one, and then it comes in a set of eight which sounds like fun, but you can only make four of them. And I'm gonna change cameras here. I'm learning a new thing. So there we go. So you get eight pieces. And I'm gonna pull them out for you. But you need two of them for one um, plate cozy, okay? And then, um, so you'll make four out of one package or she's selling them separate as well, so that you could make just the one if you need it. Um, I absolutely love these, not just for the microwave, but also um, I have several pots and plates that, um, that you, I use in my cabinets and they need to have something between them. So these work out not only as microwavable, um, cozies, but they also are great to put in between things that you don't want to touch each other to break. So they got an added view. You can get bowl cozies as well with these. Salima has those as well as the plate cozies, but the plate ones are just so cool and they're a lot of fun. And yes, I love, love the purple. So I just want to go, I, I'm going to use my magnetic hoop for this. When you take out, I'm going to change my camera again down to the overhead, okay? You take out just, you're going to have two, so I'm going to have two pieces. You want to cut this 13 inches by 13. If you want to go 14, that's fine. It gives you a little bit extra, but I'm waste not, want not. So 13 inches. Um, hi, Betty. Hi, Karen. Um, so it, it makes it so 13 by 13, and it just goes right over this. And the measurement from here to here is nine inches. And that's the inside, and I don't know if you, you can see where the darts go, okay? And hi, Sandy. But um, so the, you want to embroider, if you're going to embroider it, inside those nine inches. So I made my design nine inches. now. Do you have to do that? You could do regular sewing. And this fabric is so cool that you could just quilt along the edges and just do this so-and-so stitch in the ditch with this if you wanted to with fabric, with thread. You need to use cotton thread if you're going in the microwave on the, both the bobbin and the top. You definitely wanna make sure because you don't want it to go pop, pop, pop and set your microwave on fire. And, um, you need to, I'm, I'm gonna hoop it, but what I'm gonna hoop it with, oh, so what I did is, this is 13 inches, so I measured six and a half, six and a half this way, and I put a little center mark, so I know where my center is when I embroider this. So I'm going to use my magnetic hoop, being very careful that I don't put my finger, I pinched my finger the other day, and it's not a fun thing. Let's see if I can get it. 
Oh, no, I got to go back up. So I'm going to make sure that on my board it's centered. And well, the cotton batting you don't need because you're buying this as um, this is your batting. So yes, if you were going to put other batting in here, but this is a ready-made um, pre-cut batting, and it is 100%. It's microwavable batting. So the hoop size, this one is a uh, one that is the um, 10 and 5 eighths by 10 and 5 eighths. So it really works well. I'm going to make sure that it's straight. I'm going to make sure that it's straight here. And, oh, that's a good idea too. Keep your dinner warm. And then all you do is place it down. And then I just want to make sure it's kind of centered. I'm going to do a 9 by 9 inch. Uh, she can, I think she can order one for you. She's putting it, going to put it up on the website to order the hoop size. I love the square one. Um, it is so nice to do blocks. So anytime you uh, have blocks, you can, um, you know, uh, quilt blocks and things like that. This works really well to quilt. And actually, I'm doing a quilt myself that I'm quilting it before I put the applique on top. And my quilt size is eight and a half by eight and a half. Aha, Marty, <laughs> it's in too much use. Um, so I, I put that in with a little bit of batting on the outside and I go ahead and quilt my block and then I'm, I'm ready to go. And I quilt, I like to, I've started the habit of quilting my blocks before I, um, I'm gonna front facing. I quilt my blocks before I do the applique and I do a kind of a different technique where you um, put in your size, your finished size of your block um, is eight inches. Let's just take an example. And I make, uh, put in first an eight and a half inch uh, placement line for my fabric, or yeah, for my fabric. And then I make it eight inches and I put another um, eight inch square in so that um, that's my um, placement for my batting. And then I'll do a tack down that's also eight inches. And then I cut around the outside edge of my batting so that it's not in the seam. And then you um, put your fabric down, uh, which you've already got the placement line, and then you do the same tack down of eight inches around. Then you've got your cutting line, which you did first, and then you've got your quarter inch, and there's no batting in the seam. And then I can quilt any of my blocks if I have the finished block, but I use this all the time. So um, I know that it, this one is really a good one. I love my 8 by 12 I use all the time. I also have the 10 and 5 eighths by 16, and then I have a 5 by 7. But the square one I tend to use a lot. So let me change it over to the mach sewing machine. Aha! And we're going to bring mine over here. So I've already threaded my machine with um, cotton thread, both in the bobbin and the top. And I'm going to go to my Design Center RIQ. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the um, icon. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that good. And I'm going to pick the one that doesn't give me a, an outline, and I'm just going to pick the square. Click OK. And then I need to change my size. And remember I said the inside of this, inside those darts, is 9 inches. So I'm going to go and, oh, I can do it here, and just bring this out to 9 inches. Oops, too far. And again, you could quilt this on the sewing machine. You don't have to use IQ, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a, a, a caveat here. So then I'm going to go into, I'm not going to do, I'm going to go a no sew because I don't want it to sew the outside edge. So I'm going to use my bucket and click on the outside. And then I'm going to use the bucket here, but I'm going to go into my um, designs and I'm going to go pick one that literally has a center on it because I kind of like that idea. And I think this one is one that I used. So if I click OK, I'm using 11. I'm going to click on, um, I'm going to do red. 
That's Lima's way. I love her way. And then I'm going to use the bucket and I'm going to click in here. And it's really busy, really pretty. But now I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to take this down to as small as I can go. And I believe it's 50. Yep. Click OK. And you get to see what it looks like. Oh, I want it the other way. Never mind. I want to take it up as big as it'll go, which I believe is 200. Now, could you do that one? Yes, but it's a lot of stitching. There. And it makes it really pretty on the bottom. It looks pretty. This will be the center of my bowl. And I'm going to click Set. I'm going to click OK. And this takes 11 minutes, so I'm going to hit Embroidery. And then because I need to find my center, so I'm going to turn my camera. Well, before I do that, I'm going to click on the W up here. Oh, i got to attach my embroidery frame. Click OK. Now I'm going to click the W because it gives me that little green light. And I can kind of tell. And what's really nice about this hoop is I can pick it up and move that to where it's the center and drop it back down. So that's pretty darn close. Let's smooth it out a little bit. And that's why I love the magnetic hoop. So that's once that's set, I'm going to go ahead and hit embroidery. And let's let it embroider. So in the meantime, I'm going to change my camera. and let you take a look. I left it triple stitch. Um, I like the way that it gave a, a better, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, you could take it down to single stitch if you wanted to, but I like the triple stitch. It stood out more um, and it made it kind of made it quilted more, but you could do single stitch. Um, so this is really cool. What I did is I did the one already so that we wouldn't have to wait 11 minutes. A butterfly would be cute too. Yes, there'd be all sorts of, you could do any kind of embroidery in here that you wanted to. And again, I just love this fabric. Um, it is just so much fun. So then you can see my back. What I did with it, and I'll show it on the other one, is you fold it in half. I cut around my outside edge because it fit just perfectly. And then you put the two ends, and I don't know if you can see that, these two together because they're already there. And I'm going to show you. Oops. You'll pre we'll pretend. You're going to put these two pieces together, okay? But you're going to have fabric here. What they want you to do is sew a quarter inch outside here. So you're going to go down into it a little bit. So, and you're going to have fabric here, but that's okay, as you can see. And you want to do that on all four corners. But we'll do that when it's done embroidering, but I just wanted to show you that. Then, all we're going to do, which is so cool, is, um, You've got it like this. We're going to clip it with our, I, I put my wonder clips on it, right sides together. You want to leave a place not where your seam is. So I kind of fold the, the dart to one side and I'll leave about a three inch opening. So I'm going to start here and I'll sew all the way around and end right here. That gives me enough room to get my hand in. And it is a cotton batting that's made especially for microwaves. So one package will make four. And um, you're going to sell them as separate, correct? So I have them as you can buy an individual just to do for one plate. Or I have it where you can make it for four. four. Mm -hmm. So what, 
um, Salim is doing, which is so cool, she's doing kits for you. And she's got the kits, you can separate it, and she can do just one kit, which is one of these, which you're gonna need two, you'll have two of the batting, plus your fabric. Or you can buy the whole kit, and um, you'll get make four of them. There's eight in there. And thread, and thread too. She's actually gonna give you the cotton thread as well. Such a deal. I know, my daughter saw this and she goes, Mom, I want some. So guess who's buying the first kit? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but, and it's so easy. You'll turn it inside out and... You know what I like is the fabric. Because it looks like you pieced it. It does, I know. It's so easy. I know. And that's why I was telling them. You can go through and you can just do... Um, Okay. It's stitch in the ditch. Yeah. There's no real ditch there, but yeah. you can stitch in it. And then you don't have to do the decorative stitching. But um, I absolutely love it. And you've got this on your... On the um, app. On the app. On the, yeah. You guys, she's got an app. So you've got to go get the app. And it is so nice. I ordered something yesterday off of it, her coffee bundle. And it thanked me. It came back and said, thank you for buying and come back soon. It's the nicest app. And so even, friendly. And it even addressed your name. And it addressed my name. It was like, it knows me. I'm family already. It's pretty cool. So, um, so I mean, I'm going to have to go on there and get the app and, or, or use the app again to buy the kit. And I'm going to have to make my daughter some of these because they really are pretty. And then once you turn it inside out, you're going to sew around the outside edge um, all the way around and it's done. And you can throw these in the washing machine. You can, um, they come out just fine. I kind of like the wrinkly look the, the, um, and also it gives me better grip on the, um, with the, having the quilting on it. But again, you can sew right on these lines. They give you perfect stitch in the ditch lines as well. Um, it's pretty cool. So this is the plate cozy. There are, I believe, um, bowl cozies, but I really like the size of these. They're just um, perfect to put a, a big bowl for family or your plate on it, or like I said in the very beginning, to use it as a, um, yes, it is Mettler, which is my favorite thread, um, sewing thread. Um, you can use it to put in between bowls or even I have some Teflon um, uh, fry pans that can't sit on top of each other. So these work really well to put in between and they're pretty too. So um, they're just a lot of fun. So let's take a look. I'm going to go back over to the sewing machine. Looks like we got about five minutes left. It's stitching out pretty. There are so many fun designs on the um, on the machine that you can use, or you could use your own. This is where I can't bling because bling doesn't go well in the microwave. But um, I just love this the fabric and the whole thing, and it's a quick gift really quick gift if you needed to make something for somebody quickly <laughs> That's a great idea. so are there any questions yet cold plates ice cream in the I evening know. oh I lynette that's a great that's idea, a great idea. Like a cold, a cold bowl, of bowl of ice, ice cream yeah. yeah just put around it so although these are really big ice cream bowls i'd have to do a share <laughs> <laughs> team ice cream, team ice cream. Yes, exactly, exactly. And it's got the grip on it. I used to make the, the kit says makes one or four. So yes. Right, so the one is just a single, you can only put one plate. Yeah, so you would get one would be this kit right You're here. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, I gotta change cameras. Uh, we want overhead, there we go. Okay. So one is this right here. You'll have the front, the back. You'll have two pieces of the batting and, and, a, spool this, and a spool of thread, okay? 
if you want the set, you'll be making four of these, and there's enough fabric to make four, enough batting for four, and the thread for four. Does that make sense? I hope. So you can make this four times, or if you just need one, you can make it just once. You have the choice of getting either or. But I bet you, you'll make one, and you'll go back and you'll get a set of four. It's like potato it's chips. It's like potato <laughs> chips, yes. <laughs> so let me go back to the machine and see how we're doing. Got two more minutes, and then we'll change it to a the sewing machine. Is the sewing fit there? Uh, it is. Okay. Yes. And the screwdriver? Uh, yes. We're good. I'm just being your Vanna. I know, you're doing good. It was funny, when I first did this, my machine was set on the bobbin at home to fill it. Because I want you always want to fill it with the same, the cotton and the um, uh, bobbin as well as the top. When I went to fill it, I had it on the lowest fill. Oh. And I couldn't get it to go, I forgot to, to do it. You have to start over. So I filled one of them. And it, it took me maybe a quarter of the way, so I had to fill it, oh, in, the middle of it in the middle of it. So this time I brought two bobbins just in case. Nothing more frustrating than in the middle of a project. Oh, to run out of bobbin. I know. It's so annoying. No ice cream? Oh, no. How about yogurt ice cream? Oh, it looked pretty, too. You're right, Marty. That would be a really fun. Even a bowl of soup on the table where you can, you put, it gives you a protection on your table. And I love that these are already, batting is pre-cut for you. Um, because the, uh, when you, you have to cut those little angles out and the darts out and stuff like that. Um, it just makes this so much quicker. like we are almost done. Okay. Oh, it's got to do it's it does these little half went things all over the place to finish off. I think it's got to do that on all four sides. Maybe. Yep. Oh, uh, see, I ran out of bobbin, but I came prepared. So let me cut my thread. away from me in the car, looks like. Okay, here we go. Back in business. Back in business. While I have you I'm going to go back to overhead. I don't know if you guys have these. I think these are the most wonderful tool to have. Here I needed the same bobbin thread and I needed to, to bring it to class. And this fits inside your spool. Salima, I know, has these on the app. And then you can push this on, push it in, and that stays with your um, thread so that you have your matching thread that goes with your spool. It's pretty cool. It is 10 and 5 eighths, yes, by 10 and 5 eighths. That's the hoop size. So this is, um, I forgot what these are called. I'll tell you right now. 
but I love these and I use them quite often when you need bobinis. Bobinis. When you're you doing freestanding lace and all that kind of stuff, this is the best um, best tool. Oh, it's got to go all the way around. It says it's 11 minutes and it's 11 minutes, but it's still this one minute. It's taking a long time. <laughs> So, now, now, I know. Patience. That's what my son and my, my grandson says. Grandma, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my thread. Okay, I decided to come un unthreaded. unthreaded. My, I was told this morning I have my orders for my ho my son, grandson's Halloween costume already. Already? Already. Okay. Now it, it'll change. Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't start now. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to do it yet. But it's a Pokemon character that has eight legs or something like that. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh. And he goes, Grandma, you have it's going to take a lot of stuffing and with eight legs you can do four and I can do four now he's five so he's already decided that he's going to help me make his That's costume so cute. looks like I am catching on something here I think this is going to do one more and then I'll be done. Hopefully you can see that. One more. <laughs> it's doing all those little, little tiny things. And my thread broke again. You should probably use a 9014 needle on this. I didn't go over that. Um, and I think that's it. We're done. Yay! There's Yay. A piece of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go home. And I'm going to go to sewing. Yes, I need to remove my. Set it for sewing. Quickly. Don't you love these machines that you can go back and forth from sewing to embroidery? Just at a push of a button and a change of a foot. And I'm going to go to, I like 1 03. And we're ready to go. Now I'm going to change cameras. Okay, so one of the things that I have learned painfully, so when you take this magnet off, and it's got nice little edges on it, they're, uh, you can see they're kind of indented a little bit, so you can pull them off. I usually have them at the top, so it's easy for me to just grab. But you always want to have this cardboard piece. Do not throw it away, which I did on my 5x7, which was stupid. I threw mine away. Yeah. On my big one. On your big one? Yeah. Oh. It's painful. It's very painful, and I'm just going to put this down to go in between it. And the reason you do that is you don't want to bring it together. I literally pinched my finger from the two of them not being, not having this in between, and then you can't get it apart. So definitely want to. Um, Keep your cardboard, it still holds it between to store it. So, here we go. It's so pretty. So I'm going to turn it over, and then what I'm going to do is use my scissors and cut around the outside edge. to Make my curves. Okay. 
Okay. And then what I'm going to do is fold this together like I was saying, making sure that the two edges of the batting are together. And then I just use my Wonder Clips to clip it. I'm going to do the same here. So they stay together. Same on this side. Like so. And now I'm going to just go sew darts. And I will change cameras to the sewing machine and move this over. Hopefully you can see that. And then I start at the wide end. I'm using the inside of the foot, which gives me my kind of a scant quarter inch on this foot. Um, I would use a, um, oh, she's got it. Ha ha ha. What do I have? What do I have? You have a quarter inch foot and of it's course. the best one ever. So I love this because it's got the edge on it. It also has the wide, um, back of the foot. Um, the original ones had, were all just short and it doesn't catch the feed dogs. This one, because of the width of this, rides on the feed dogs and it makes a, um, your perfect quarter inch. So I'm going to put the quarter inch there and now because I have that edge on there, that is going to be my quarter inch. I always put my needle down first and then my foot. And hopefully I've got my foot pedal. I'm going to make sure that's there. And I just go ahead and sew straight down and cut my scissor, or cut, use my scissors to cut. I'm going to turn it over again, making sure that those edges are correct. My quarter inch foot, needle down, foot down. Okay, now to the other side, making sure they're together, needle down, oops, my needle came unthreaded, Usually if the needle comes unthreaded that like it's doing, it usually means there's something in the way. Needle down. So probably I should have checked and cleaned the machine, but we're good. And again, oh I'm glad I checked the back side of that. I'm going to check Put that needle down, and the needle came, thread came out again. One thing I found with this, um, when you're done, needle down, with this, you want to um, clean your machine because the cotton thread really, really. And you can see on my needle, if I put my needle down again, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of lint here. And that's just because of the cotton um, thread on that. So now I'm going to take it back over. I'm going to change cameras. Sure. Take the foot off the machine and put it in the, on the camera. Linda's asking a question oh. about the foot. Sure can. There we go. So Let me lift up. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my different camera later, but I think it has, um, yeah, it does, ha Lynette, it does have a little bit of a bigger opening, so you can adjust your needle position. Position, you, yes, you can. Yeah. That's what's so nice about this one, too, because I don't think the l l littler one does, that are used to come with them, it wouldn't let you do the scant quarter inch. And do we have the new clear plastic quarter inch? I need to check on that one. She's going to check for us. Okay. All right. So now that I've got my 
um, darts all done. I'm going to take the other side of this. I'm just going to fold the two together. And I make sure that my darts are going one way and the other way. So they kind of go in and nestle into each other. Just makes it for a nicer. So the first thing I do is go around and put them going one side to the other. So I, hopefully you can see that I'm doing that. Okay. And then I do I do pin my corners or wonder wonder th my corners. So that they match up, but because of that wonderful batting, pre-cut batting, they do match up very well. Now, one thing, it's a leany thing that I do, is I take a pin and I put it where I need to stop. And then I'll start here, okay? and go all the way around, but then that pin reminds me. Otherwise, you know, continue on and the whole thing will be closed and you have to rip out. So I, um, yeah, it, it, you're right. Uh, maybe two clicks on both sides of the needle when you're using that foot. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take you back to the machine and we're gonna sew all the way around. So hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. So I'm going to start, again, needle down. And we're just going to sew all the way around using a quarter inch. And because I've nestled those two together, it lies very flat. I'm coming up to my pin. I do want to go over that seam. I don't want to stop so the seam is not together. So I want to go over that a little bit and then I'm just going to backtrack there. And cut my thread. And take my cute little wonder clips. Change cameras. Okay. Need to find my opening. There I am. You could clip, which I probably should do, just about three clips on each go round, making sure that you don't cut through. Turn this baby through.
And I love the RK tool. That or the OESD one. They both are wonderful to get my corners all out. So then I just kind of flatten it out all the way around. Probably take it to the iron, but I'm not going to this time. And find my opening again. There it is. Just so I can get in here. And because I didn't do it on a corner, my corners will all be nice. And then I just have this edge, which I will fold in. And again, use my wonder clips. To hold it in place. And now I'm just going to go around using the inside of my foot, which I'll show you to do the top stitching. So I don't even have to hand that that four letter word. No, I don't have to don't use. Do we don't have to do that <laughs> this time. So there it is. I'm going to change cameras. And I won't start on the edge that has the there. But if I put the inside of my foot now, not the outside, but the inside of my foot, that gives me an eighth of an inch are pretty darn close. Good enough, as they say, for government work. I used to see, my, my mom and dad used to say that all the time. I'm thinking, what's wrong with that picture? Um, I want it perfect, but I'm not. So you just want to go around it. And again, I'm using the inside of the foot as my guide. As I come around to the clips, Here's where my clips, I want to make sure I catch both sides. I would go slow over your seam, because remember that's batting twice plus two different things of fabric. So it is on a little bit of a heavier side. Heavier side. <laughs> Got to give it a little bit of a snugger. Never push through. Change cameras. We're done, guys. Oh my goodness. That's as fast as it goes. And that's quilting. Yes, you could have done the, the stitching a little less, maybe, when you said once, but um, would the Move It foot work better on it? Um, it could. I didn't use the Move It foot because it's it's got... Um, You've got, you've got the edge on here, so it kind of tips off of it. I have less control. So um, you could try it, Connie, but I'm fine with just the regular foot. I, I'm amazed at how easy it was and how even it is all the way around. And you just use the inside of that foot. But I love these. I mean, they are just so pretty. This one I let go. Um, 
I didn't take it down as much. This one, of course, I did. Mm -hmm. So you can have so much fun with all the different designs on your machine. Or I think I'm going to try one just stitching in the in the ditch in the with the quote unquote <laughs> ditch and um, see what that one looks like. I think that would be kind of fun. It might be more of a masculine look mm -hmm. to have not the flowers on the inside, but I'm a flower girl too, mm -hmm. but um, more masculine maybe so that I can, you know, one for my husband that doesn't have the flowers and one for myself, but they're the same. So or they look the same. The diamond fill. Oh, the diamond fill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Diamond diamond fill in there too so all sorts of different things that you can do with that so um, take this back again I hope you enjoyed this the decorative stitches you're mm -hmm. absolutely right Louise oh I didn't even think about Great that way to audition, audition right? diamond, your, your stitches yeah that reminds me when I first get my machines I used to not anymore <laughs> I'm doing too many they've got too many things on them but when you first had your machines I used to take the fabric and then try all the different stitches and then um, the stores used to have those mugs or those cups that had the pictures. You could put pictures of your family in them. Well, I put my stitches in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then put it next to my machine when I drank my water and I could look at it. Oh wait, that's a good um, stitch okay. to use. That's so fun. that's my audition of my stitches. So I could do that on this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's a great project, um, you know, just for the still cold weather that we're having. So um, I just want to say have a great... Um, and remember all and, the products. And remember all the products. Oh, yeah, remember all the products are on the fun app. And you'll talk, they'll talk to you and thank you for it afterwards. It's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> And you just download oh, the app from the app store. The foot is the quarter inch foot. And I don't know if there's a number on it because it comes with most of the machines. But if it, uh, you can get it separate. If you have the old one in an older machine, you would probably have the older foot. Is that the one, did you use the one with the guide, Lini? Is that the one? I did. Yeah. The so one just, with the you guide. You just say a quarter inch foot with the guide. With the guide. Head, and then we'll know which one. Okay. Goodbye, everybody.